but also just behind me is the as the person that uh, all seem to favor the kind of numbers we've been getting seem to suggest that fifi fiavi Kwete will become the next general secretary of the ndc indeed he has just made a post on his facebook page saying that one contestant in the person of peter Buama Tukono had called him to congratulate him, to wish him well, and he had also pledged to work together. He's in a conversation currently where the Mr. Tobi Kwache, who is a former national security coordinator under the SWAP NDC regime, I try and get some word as they try and share a few, a few, a few, a few words. So the incoming general secretary of the National Democratic Congress. Right here in a conversation with um, to, to, to Mr. Tutubi Kwachi, and I will try and get some word from the, 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 the incoming general secretary shortly to see how it's going. Mr. Kwachi, I mean, I spoke to you early on. You were very confident that you were going to win. The numbers we have seem to suggest that officially you are the person to replace Johnson as the general secretary of your party. How, how, what, what do you make of the development? I mean, um, I, I was not being complacent. I was uh, saying what I was saying on the back of having traveled uh, in the 275 constituencies, interacted with the people, spoken with them, listened to them. And therefore, I could feel exactly what it is that uh, they were yearning for. So when I told you that I was confident of winning, I knew what I was talking about. I mean, I was not underrating at all my, my opponent. I knew that they had also con conducted a very strong campaign as well, but I just feel that the, the mood of the of the of the team in support of our party and of our delegate wanted a different kind of leader, and I felt I fitted that particular uh, pedigree far more. And did you say that um, Peter Bomotuko has already called you? Can you let it, let, let us in in some of the things you talked about? Oh, to be honest, uh, we had already spoken two days ago, and two days ago we we I mean he and I spoke. And I told him in plain language that uh, he actually was the contest, uh, not my other brother, Elvis. I knew he was out of the race, to be honest, and that's no disrespect at all, but I knew. Uh, if, you are, if you are a smart politician, you know who is a competition. So I told Peter that he actually was conducting a very strong campaign, and I was congratulating him and telling him that uh, I'm sure I will submit him, but I was very proud about the job he was doing. That was two days ago. And today, even while we were uh, voting, I again jokingly saw him and said, young boy, you are disturbing your senior brother, and we just laugh about about that and so he was the one of first who he was the one of the first to congratulate me and i told him that i look forward to working with him complimented him again over his very good performance so i'm sure we should be able to look forward to working very closely if, if this is finally confirmed you'll be going against justin from pong code he has also just been elected by the new patriotic party i'm sure you'll probably be ahead of him in terms of age but in terms in terms of the pedigree how do you think the npp ndc will be matching up to the npp with the kind of new leadership that has been elected today to be honest i don't i don't really look at it that way at all i look at it like uh and this is a whole different vehicle and we've got what we've got to do mpp has got his own vehicle they've got to do what they've got to do so i don't look at it like me versus uh just in code you know i look at it, the ndc as a party and the best we can do to make sure we position ourselves to justify and win the trust of the people of Ghana and I think that's what we've got to do. We've got to do whatever we can to let them know that we are not like the MPP. MPP has had opportunity six years going to eight and they clearly have shown that they have disappointed the masses. We need to also not take it for granted that automatically there will be a switch of love and affection to us but we need to justify that we need that we deserve that support and we work towards that. Do you plan on returning the NDC to IPAC? Oh, the, oh I mean I would say that as a party we, we clearly must leave every option on the table. We should be able to understand that uh, the fact that we have had one way of doing it does not always mean the same way must continue. So I would say all options must remain on the table. But it's a decision we must collectively come to, not just in terms of the functional executive of the party, but the broader political leadership of the party. I would think that the options must remain very open. Mr. Fifi I'll be looking forward to speaking to you again to try and see if he can talk to you on PM Express on Monday. So Fifi is the elected chair. That is the of the NDC. Um, Mr. Toto, 